This is some sheet metal design using Solid Edge with synchronous technology from Siemens PLM. You see I got this control panel here and I need to design an enclosure for it, a sheet metal enclosure. So to do that I'm going to just start by drawing a rectangle in 3D space here. You see that I can use this and just kind of rough out the size of the enclosure that I want. Precise dimensions aren't really important at this time. Once I've got that rectangle down, I can add thickness to it just by clicking in that region I created. And that's going to create the appropriate thickness. Now, to start building some flanges that are going to be the walls of my enclosure, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around here and just click on these edges. So I'm going to click on all four edges because I want to build walls on all four sides. And when I click this small arrow, that's going to create flanges. And you see that it's even given them corner treatment. And it's going to let me extend those flanges, flanges out to, um, I can key in a precision depth or I can actually pick up on one of the key points of another part in the assembly. In this case, I'm just going to pick on the back edge of that hole. Because what that's going to do is bring those flanges out such that they line up with the back face of this panel. And that's what I want for this particular design. I'm then going to go and continue making flanges. In this case, I'm going to pick up on, again, on this edge and this edge. Notice I'm not using any commands to create flanges. I'm just pointing on the edges I want and then clicking on this arrow. And that's going to bring those flanges in and I can type in maybe two and a half inches. Now, if I want to adjust the length of those flan the depth of those flanges, you see I can just click on that again, that edge, and use the big arrow this time. And notice that it recognizes the symmetry of the part. It knows that if I click on one flange, I must want to move the other one because the part's symmetric. I can toggle that on or off and key in a value. Similarly, I can click on any outside face of the box, and if I use that arrow, Watch that it's going to modify the entire dimension of the box. It's going to take all those flanges and maintain those corner conditions to adjust the size that I want. Maybe I want to move it in about half an inch. Or better yet, I can go and pick up on dimensions and just drop dimensions in 3D space. In Solid Edge, you can put a dimension between anywhere and anywhere in 3D. And once you have that dimension, it becomes a driving dimension. So if I click on this, I can roll my mouse wheel to change that value and it will uh, adjust the overall width of the box or I can key something and I'm going to type in 9 inches because that's the overall length I want. So that's looking pretty good. Um, maybe instead of building another flange that comes down here, maybe I'll just shorten this entire box such that this flange lines up with the top of this control panel. So to do that I'm just going to draw a box around this area, pick up on all of those edges and then use that steering wheel again. I want to pick up on the bottom edge of this flange and then just point my arrow downwards because that's where I want to adjust this part and I'll just pick up on a key to a key point here on the control panel and that'll line that flange up the way I want it to. So that's looking pretty good. Uh, again, maybe at this point I notice that those flanges are a little bit too far in so I can back them off a bit, uh, kind of fine-tune my design. And the last thing I need to do is put some holes in there that'll line up with the holes on the control panel. And to do that I'll just use an include command. And what that's gonna let me do is that's just gonna let me go around and just click on features from this other part in the assembly, the control panel, and if I hide the rest of the assembly, you see that's created sketch lines on my actual part. And I'm going to use those sketch lines to line up a hole. I'll go to the hole command and let's say we want a threaded hole and we're going to pick a number 10 fine thread. Cool thing about holes in solid edge is that they'll line themselves up to fit any surface that you want. You see that as I roll them over here, they, they'll just align themselves to always be normal to whatever surface, even if it's a curved surface. What I actually want is just to be able to pick up on the center point of these holes as I go around, because I know that now these will be lined up with the holes in the control panel. So that's looking pretty good. If I go back into my assembly, you can see that everything lines up nicely. Maybe now what I want to do is have this manufactured. and I'm going to, I can use this 3D model to get some pretty valuable manufacturing information from this. For example, I can create a flat pattern of the sheet metal model. And what that's going to do is that's going to tell me exactly how much material I need to cut out to create this from a single piece of sheet metal. We can also do things like add a bend table and that's going to dictate the order uh, and direction as well as the angle of each of these bends.